Hello, hello, this is your Reverend Dr. Edwina Pairing coming on to give you your weekday morning prayer. Listen, I am going to take some time off um, this week. I'm not going to do prayer every morning this week. Um, I'm going to take some rest. I'm going to follow the doctor's orders. I'm going to get some rest. But I probably, I'll pop on maybe, you know, a couple of, and one more time before this week out um, because I know it's the holidays and I'll come on. But this is the word that I want you to keep for the rest of the week. Um, we often ask people to pray for us and to cover us. And Oh, I need you to pray for me. I'm praying for my sickness and I need you to pray for me. Um, I'm going through some mental problems. I want you to pray for me. I'm going through some financial problems. But the key thing you need to ask, are they equipped for that? Are they equipped? Do they have that anointing to pray for that? Because many people, uh, they don't have a testimony in knowing how to survive that. And I'm going to tell you something else. You can't pray on my finances when you can't manage your own finances. Um, you can't pray for me and pray for my sickness when you're a hypochondriac. You can't pray for me and telling me that I need to call on God and I need to do all these things and lean and trust on God when you always complaining and you lack faith. You can't come to me and talk about faith and you don't have no faith when your issues are going on. Glory to God. I'm trying to help y'all. This week, be careful of who you ask to pray for you and who you ask to cover you. Some people don't have the anointing in those areas to cover you. Uh, um, you know what? You can't talk to me about being a cusser and, 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 and doing all these things. And, and you've never cussed a day in your life. And you don't know what it is to be addicted to cussing. Uh, okay, okay. See, those are the kind of things. You can't talk to me about uh, sleeping around with everybody. And you can't minister to me about having low self-esteem and sleeping with, with every Jane, Jenny, and and um, Jackie, and and you sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry when you were a virgin, when you got married. You can't talk to me about low self-esteem. And you can't talk to me about low self-efficacy if you've never dealt with those things. So I need y'all to be careful of asking people to pray for you. You can't pray for me if you the drug addict. I, I mean, if you've never been a drug addict. You don't know what it is. You can't pray for me if you've never been an alcoholic. You don't know what it is. So be careful for asking people to, to cover you if you're going through those things. Be careful to ask pe Be careful of asking people that don't know what those struggles in some of those areas. And I just named a few. I talked about the the cusser, the drug addict, the the um the prostitute. If you don't know what it is, you can't cover me if you haven't been released or been through some of those or or had some trials and tribulations and temptations with you can't pray for me if that ain't never been a thorn in your flesh glory to god and see you know we often tell people oh just pray for me and then some people say i'm praying for you well mm, you might not be equipped to pray for me in that area so be discerning when you asking people to pray for you um you know I, I, every assignment is not my assignment. I've had people to say, will you pray for me? I said, no, you pray. I'm going to stand in agreement because that's not my assignment. See, we got to be bold enough to say that everything is not the preacher's assignment. Everything is not the pastor's assignment. Everything is not the prayer warrior's assignment. So listen, let's talk about this. Be careful who you ask to pray for you, okay? I love you. Have a glorious day in the Lord and give grace to receive grace. I will probably pop back on um, Friday, which is Christmas Eve. I'll pop back on Christmas Eve. Who knows? I'm, God give me a word, I'll get back on. But other than that, I'm going to take some time to get some rest per the doctor's orders. Okay? Listen, I love you. Have a glorious day in the Lord. And you know what? Give grace to receive grace. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.